this is Ashford here, straight out of Gallifrey, welcome. Now many of you may have heard of a little convention in California called the San Diego Comic Con, which is viewed as the mecca of comic conventions. Well, the Doctor Who gang made a pilgrimage across the Atlantic to make their presence felt in Hall H this year. Showrunner Chris Tribnell, supporting cast members Amanda Gill, Tossin Cole. Unfortunately, Bradley Walsh couldn't make it because he is shooting in Cardiff, which is a shame. I think he's going to be one of my favorites, but don't tell the others. And guess who else was there? The Doctor himself, Jodie Whittaker. The Doctor Who crew wild, charmed, and dazzled the masses at this annual convention. With taking loads of pictures, speaking at panels, and Jodie Whittaker even walked the catwalk. As you would think, Jodie Whittaker and her friends were asked many questions. But much like the trailer that was shown, not many answers were given. But let's talk about some of the information we were able to crowbar out of head writer Chris Chibnall. One, no returning villains. That's right, no Daleks, Cybermen, Weeping Angels, Slytherins, Silurians, Nesting Consciousness, Autons, Ice Warriors, Great Intelligence, or the Yeti. Darn it, no Yeti. Second thing, no two-parters, no long three-part story arcs. But that's not saying that there might not be this overall story that needs to be told. And three, um, much like they mentioned before, there will be 10 episodes, including a Christmas special. And four, there will be writers, not just singular, but plural, writers of color. So even though we're still in those dog days of summer, we can wait for it to cool off. And somewhere in October, we didn't get a air date of when this glorious series 11 will start. But hopefully, you know, when we get this news of we didn't get a returning villain, there's some fan theories I might have out there. Either they're going to have some really cool new villains or, you know, we have a now a TARDIS team. And Chris Chibnall said in a panel that they won't be called companions, which was really never used in a show. They're going to be called her friends. So maybe this might be some more character pieces. These characters going through situations where you don't need a villain per se, but if they're going back in time and in the future, they're just dealing with that and each other. So maybe this might be a character driven series, who knows? But here's the deal here. It's gonna start in October, it'll end in Christmas, and we can enjoy this for the holidays. So tune in next time to Straight Out of Gallifrey here at the Kingdom of Geekdom. And I'm here courtesy of the Right On Network. And on the next episode of Straight Out of Gallifrey, I'm going to talk about some information about showrunner Chris Chibnall. So until next time, guys, cheers.